So about two and a half years ago, two years ago, uh, we found out about these five children who were going to be freed for adoption. And uh, we decided that we wanted to bring them into our lives and into our homes. One of these children was Juliana, who at the time was three years old. And when we first met her, she said the word purple a lot. That was about the only word she said. And you couldn't understand. Most everything else was mumbling. She had learned to walk at only two and a half, and she still didn't walk very well. She would run into walls. Her balance was just terrible. She was always bleeding and hurt. Just She just didn't have much control over her body at all. She would have rages, biting, hitting, uh, spitting, kicking, cussing. <laughs> And so as we got to know her, we learned their story very, very slowly. But we did find out that not only did she uh, have a lot of neglect uh, when she was young, uh, a baby, um, her parents were drug addicts, dad was mostly in jail. And then she went to a foster home, the three older ones went to a foster home where that abuse continued. And they were abused in in very uh, horrific ways in the foster home as well as uh, their home that they were born into. And so each kid handled it completely differently. But Juliana had such a hard time because she couldn't communicate to you what had happened to her. So we brought her home and put her in every therapy we could. We had her in speech, occupational therapy, play therapy, cognitive therapy, she began to make progress and she began to walk better and she began to um, say more words. She began to, to touch more. When we first got her, she couldn't really feel. However, as we had her tested and we were trying to get to the bottom of what was happening with Juliana, there were so many layers. There was layers of trauma. There was layers of uh, you know abuse. There was probably some drug. Well, we know there was some drug and alcohol issues that she was born with. and. Her eyes didn't work properly because of that. So there was just so many layers of struggling and we began to really peel away with them and, and, and she started to show some signs of improvement but her rage and her anger uh, were one of the things that, uh, as she got bigger, actually got harder for us to manage. And so uh, one day uh, we heard about this therapy. We decided to try it and really uh, I had done some research on some brain therapy in the past for our son who was also um, having some severe issues from his trauma. I didn't uh, I didn't understand necessarily how it worked but I was willing to try anything because I love this child. So we brought her here and she's been here seven, eight times now I think, eight sessions. I would say with by the second or third session we were starting to notice changes but we were afraid you know could this possibly really be helping her we were almost afraid to be hopeful it's her time in her life she's not backing up that way yeah, she's having a good week and uh, because everything we had tried we hadn't had this much success in such a short period of time but then it became um, kind of hard to even not consider it because all of a sudden Juliana hadn't raged in weeks, I think three weeks, she went without a rage. That doesn't mean that she wouldn't start. Juliana has a lot of sensory issues. But now all of a sudden she was processing it in the moment and making the right choices and taking her time out without causing trouble. It completely changed the atmosphere in her home from one of people being afraid when Juliana got upset because Juliana was going to hurt somebody to not wanting to you know, walk on eggshells a little bit around her. The whole atmosphere in the house changed for everybody when Juliana began to be able to control these impulses. And so I asked her therapist to watch for changes. And two weeks ago, her therapist came out after a session and you could see by the look on her therapist's face that she couldn't even believe what she was about to say to me. She said Juliana was really a hundred percent different person than she had been before that she was normally redirected every one to two minutes juliana has very little attention so juliana's attention span is extremely short and so she needed redirect even during her one hour therapy session every one to two minutes she came out and she said we timed her she went 55 minutes without redirect. she was able 
to learn from her therapies, she was able to think more about the rectangle that she was drawing. And, and she drew a better rectangle because she was focused. She was amazed and, and the therapist said, you know, I have to look, I have to know more. I have to learn what this is and how we can help other kids with this. We are so grateful uh, that we learned about Nexalyn, that somebody brought Nexalyn to us and that we tried it with Juliana and uh, I can't imagine when you think about how this will change the rest of her life these few short weeks that we've invested with Nexalyn and they've invested in our family, you know, will change Juliana's life and our life as a family and her siblings' life. We anticipate using it for the rest of our children as well to help heal the trauma that has happened to them along with all their other therapies. Uh, we believe that this will give our children the best chance that, that they can have.